James Mel Endes, James the Tech Guy. Thank you for joining me today. I'm going to do an overview and a rating of Google Keep. Stay tuned. Please give a like and subscribe to this channel. This is a task management software from Google. It is something that's available both if you're an enterprise user or an individual user, it's available. So I'm gonna just show you right away. It's here up in the Google Waffle. Just go about two thirds down and you'll see it there. One of the first things I'm gonna suggest, and I do know that this is both for enterprise and for personal use, I'm gonna say that this is more of a personal tool than an enterprise tool. And I do know examples where people are using this on the enterprise level. This is never designed, in my opinion, to have that full capability of a work management solution. This is not the same thing. These are two different things. It's a very simple application to use. It's available desktop, as well as Android and Apple iOS. Now these are the task tiles, and you're gonna see each of these in terms of what they can do or can't do. I would like to have this task management software replace and retire my other task management software. I can't retire either of them. Now you can say, well, why are you using both? Because this is nice to go. It actually is a very nice visually pleasing framework for me, but I do use this only on the personal level, never for business, never for enterprise. It just doesn't work for me. Now you see here the Google taskbar. You can either have that showing all the items on the taskbar itself, or you can actually hide that. So that's a nice feature. And what is here are certain aspects like notes. This, These are notes. I call them tiles because they look like a tile. Now you can see reminders here. So you do have a reminder capability. You can just look at those that you've set for reminders. You can look at labels. So I create labels because I can search by them and find them much more quickly. Or I can just select here and see those specific tiles that come up for each of these specific areas. You can list multiples, which is nice. You can look at your archives. That's really cool. You can edit them as well. This is cells engineering. Here I'm going to enter a checklist and I'm going to enter that right here. This is part of customer retention. I'm going to enter that right here. So I'm going to actually add a color as well. So I'll add something that's very different from all my other colors because I have quite a number. So I'm just using it as a differentiator so I can see this and take action or at least be aware. And so my eye doesn't fall just on one particular item or tile or note. I can look at several of them and scroll through them with much more ease. Going back here, we're just going to go through each of these items here. I can do two things to this. I can put an image. And so maybe I want people, I'm going to share this with people. You'll see how I can do that right there in Collaborator. I can also list a document here, only from Google Docs, of course. But I think it's a nice feature. This has changed for the better. It looks a lot neater, cleaner than it had been before. It's easy to see, easy to find, and to click on and execute. So that's a nice feature there. I can actually pin this, which is also something very nice if this is going to be the top placement of something that I'm working on and I want that to shine above all the others. But you will also notice that I cannot make a prioritization. I can't say that this is more important than maybe these on the bottom here. Maybe they're equally important. Imagine you have 50 or 100 of these and you're trying to scan these quickly. You probably can't get that visual indicator of importance because there's no way to do that in Google Keep. There's also a, a sense that I can't link things together. So maybe data quality management, I really want to focus in and connect to revenue forecasting. Somehow it would be nice if there's a tool here to make that relationship so that they are together. Also in these, there's no way to indicate a subtask. So I might, for this implemented process, I may have subtasks in order to get there. So I can't list subtasks, you can only do tasks. If I want to put a timer on here, reminder, then that means that I can only do it for the entire group of tasks. But that could be a limitation. You can put all sorts of visual material here. So let's go on to the next one. I can change colors. I can do so on the fly. I think it's a nice feature. I can also add a theme here. Now I can also add a theme and a color. So you see on the bottom here that there's a color. It doesn't seem like it's, I'll make it a, a brighter color so you can see the differences, right? But when I close it, I don't really see that. I'm not really sure the purpose of that. Maybe Google keeps product management thought it's a really cool idea. I think it's okay. So I'm just gonna take out this by hitting the default. 
So we're back just to the singular color. I can put multiple images, but I'm not sure I would do that. Actually, they're going to go, say, left to right, and it gets smaller and smaller. So I'm not really sure that's a great idea to utilize. I'm not sure the purpose of that necessarily. But you can look at more. So you can delete the note. I can change the label. I can add a drawing. And uh, that's a nice little feature. I'm not sure, again, why I would do this, especially if it's just for maybe you're trying to show or demonstrate something. So that is there. I have never used that. I'm not sure I will use that for this particular application. And so I can hide check boxes. So let's just say here that I complete this task, right? So I'm always going to see that. I'm going to just show you what that looks like. So I can still see that task that I just completed. That is annoying. I don't really want to see that. So what I'm going to do is just click here and I'm going to put hide check boxes, keep it, but I'm, I don't want to delete it. It's there if I really wanted to look back at that. And then there is a cool feature here, which I do like, which is a version history. So I can look each of these versions up to see what I have done in the past in case something had gone missing or just I want to reference it, right? So I can look at that. That's a nice feature. So I can move these tiles pretty easily, quickly. I do have full control of moving these in any direction that I want. That's awesome. But again, I don't have any relationship between each of the tiles, nor do I have any sort of dependencies that I can actually say this is dependent on competitive intelligence, is dependent on revenue forecasting and so forth. So that's not a possibility. The cog here shows the things you can do. There's not a ton of things you can do here, but you can look at settings and the settings is very limited capabilities here. So maybe uh, reminder defaults and timings you can change. I'm not sure I would do that or the reason for doing that. But I can also look at enabling dark theme. That's a nice thing. Search works well. Now I'm going to look up analysis. So I see any keyword, and that's a nice feature of Google products. They find things pretty easily, rapidly, and consistently. I found analysis, and I found in these three tiles here. So that's one way of finding things. You can also look at maybe reminders. There's specific reminders I want to look at. Or I can just X out of that and just look at images or lists. I can look at colors. I think this is a bit of something that I've never utilized. I don't really find this feature to be that helpful. Glad it's there but I'd rather see the investment in maybe having a stronger relationship of the tiles to each other. Now I'm going to show you the mobile version, which is the Apple iOS version of Google Keep. Here is Google Keep, Google Keep for iOS review. And you can see right here, like some of the same topical matter is going to be at the same place and position, which I like. And it shows all the tiles in my list. Now I'm going to point out there's obviously a lot of things you can do on the fly. And it's really meant for that particular mobile experience. But what I would also point out is let's look at just this tile here. You can see here there are five selections. I'm not including feedback because that's not a function of Google Keep necessarily. And so on the desktop, you will see six selections altogether. So you do have one less there. Here, it's a nice looking, I would say, visual presentation compared to maybe other things in my tech stack that don't look this modern and I think helpful. But again, this is for very simplified usage models. And so this may be different from your needs. The functionality is very, very similar. Notes are still there. And I like that the COS Chief of Staff document is there. I think overall, it's a decent experience altogether. And I would say in many ways, this is not very far or different from the desktop version. I like that this is intuitive, easy to use. It's visually pleasing. I like that I can input Google Docs in there. They're going to look pretty smart. And it's a nice way to have that. I like the arranging of tiles. It's uh, super easy to do. You can rearrange them in any way that you want. And on the negative side, I like to document all the subtasks that I may have in order to complete the task. There's limited due date capability. You cannot affiliate or tie each tile to another to see those relationships. There's no other functionality like dashboard, OKRs, or reporting. In summary, it is very simple, easy to use, attractive. I think this is really meant for a personal use versus an organizational use. I would love to see more universal reminding or maybe capabilities or flexibility of having a reminding function on each task. And there's no way to make a prioritization. So if you look at the tiles, there's no way to, as I pointed out already, you can't tie them together. You can't prioritize them either. So maybe the ones on the first third are more important than the ones in the middle or the bottom. They may just land up there accidentally. So that's, I think, a really unfortunate part about the software. The more tasks you have, they're harder to see. So while I can search for them, I really can't 
exactly see what the whole picture looks like. But I think that's another limitation. While I think it is obviously free to many people, many organizations, but I would say for very simple limited actions. And I really don't want to use this on my enterprise side. It's uh, I think a little bit limiting. This is 90 points out of 100 points in James the Tech Guy's rating system. And it's something that 90 points is, you might say that's an A minus. To me, that's really a minimal standard score. So this is at the very bottom of a good score. And I think there's some things that could be safe from the product management side of Google Keep to make this a more robust use. So be sure to share this somebody interested in Google Keep, someone who uses it already. And I appreciate you watching this. And please be sure to subscribe, give a like, and I will see you very soon. James Mellon is James the Tech Guy.